The surprising thing about the Back to the Farm movement is that it is fostered largely by city men. The college president now talks flowingly and learnedly about the educational farm, about the dignity and nobility and independence of farm life, and even tells the rising generation how he used to shear sheep, mow grass, and do other farm stunts. All this to stiffen the student's vertebrae. And the professors of Greek listen approvingly and exclaim, Me too! They have not the sincerity or the courage to admit that farming is in fact a strenuous occupation and that they themselves dodged it and chose the direction of soft hands and a higher remuneration. Nor would they acknowledge that since they made their choice, they have seldom pined for the sound of the cowbell, the bleating of those lovely lambs, or the raucous refrain of long-nosed, hungry, Jersey-red pigs. Thank you.